Alrighty. What do we got? What do we got? Ho, ho, ho. Or whatever else say. I don't know. I don't know what the hell they say. But this is my question. So obviously read it uh, beforehand, before you look what I'm going to do. Uh, this is, I have to write some stuff down and give them from the question. So this is what we have. Uh, T is a random variable. Kind of strange because T represents a continuous random variable, but it, it's the number of days that uh, elapse before a randomly selected student registers for classes, right? So I guess we can have fractions of a day. Well, I mean, of course you can, and anything in between. So it's continuous, it's continuous. And zero to 13 days. So 13 days uh, to register. And some other information we're given is that um, the density function of t, okay, is given, well, it's proportional to this rational expression, one over one plus t, only though, only for zero less than or equal to t less than or equal to 6.5. So 6.5, of course, is half of 13, so that's definitely gonna come into play. Um, and also, actually, it says uh, f of t is symmetric. Actually, we need that as well. Uh, also note, Uh, f of t is symmetric. Uh, about t equals six point five. Right. We absolutely need that as well. Can't answer this question without that. So this is the information we have again. Um, we are given also that the student registers at t sub 60. Why the hell am I using that notation for that? Because, well, specifically the question says that the student registers at the 60th percentile. And so we definitely need a picture. You don't need a picture, but I need a picture. Pictures are very helpful. So what is the picture I have? Um, we don't know what the actual density function looks like. We really don't know what it looks like. Um, but doesn't matter, doesn't matter. All I know basically is that we're going to go from zero uh, to 13. And there's some symmetry right in the middle. It's symmetric about 6.5, right in the middle. So as long as you draw uh, some sort of graph which is symmetric through that point, essentially, this is pretty much like an even function. I'm just going to do sort of a normal distribution looking density function, right? So this is what I have. It honestly doesn't really matter, but I do have something that's symmetric about the line uh, t equals 6.5, which is what I need. Now, um, I need to use this information right here. So it's proportional to this uh, function in this region, this is where uh, we're given the information. So on this region right here, on this region right here, we have that f of t is equal to k times 1 over uh, 1 plus t. If you think about it for a second, that means that that must basically represent half of the distribution. So what I mean by that is the following. We need to make a computation because I need to figure out what this value of k is. Okay, so we have. So hence, we have the following. It's going to be half. If I take the area of this curve, this represents half of it, and that's going to be proportional to this function. So, hence, one point uh, one half is equal to uh, the integral from zero to six point five k times 1 over 1 plus t dt. If you're new to the game, you may want to use a u substitution here. But if you've had some practice, then you know that this is the natural log. When I integrate this, is natural log. And we don't have to worry about any constants, really. So this tells me now that 1 half is equal to k times natural log of 1 plus t. Uh, if you want to be a math Nazi, you would say, I need absolute value here. Uh, but I mean, t is positive. Everything's positive, so I don't have to worry about the absolute value, right? And I'm going from 0 
to 6.5. So plug in the endpoints, and this tells me now uh, that k, just get k by itself, this is straightforward, k is equal to 1 over 2 ln uh, of, well, 7.5. Because when I plug in 0, I get ln of 1, that's 0. So this is my value of k. We definitely need that. All right. This is looking good. This is looking good. Let me give myself some more room. Um, so now, uh, we need to answer the question. Uh, what is the question, by the way? The question basically says, uh, find the number of days that have elapsed um, for when the student registers. The student registers at the 60th percentile. So basically, what we're looking for is t sub 60. That should be thinking here. This is how many days have elapsed. So we need to find this. That's what we're looking for. Okay. All right. Let's find that. And I'll need the picture, so I want to resort to the picture because there's a sort of another little trick that comes in handy here. Um, if you think about the 60th percentile pertaining to this picture here, the 60th percentile is going to be somewhere to the right of t uh, equals 6.5. I have no idea where, but you should be thinking to yourself that that is a bit of a problem. The problem is that I don't know anything about the right-hand side of the distribution function. Okay, I'll leave my k down here, so we have to resort to that. But, as I mentioned, um, t sub 60 is somewhere to the right of 6.5. To the right of 6.5. So let's say t sub 60 is over here. Remember what 60 per percentile means? It means that I'm looking for basically uh, the value for which 60% of my data is less than that value. So, I want to find this. I know nothing about this distribution on the right-hand side of 6.5. Okay, sorry to repeat myself a bunch of times, but that's what we're doing, right? So I'm looking for, I'm looking for uh, the probability that t is less than or equal to t sub 60 is equal to 0 0.6, the 60th percentile. So how am I going to fix this? I need to fix this. The way that I think about this is that I have uh, this distance here, okay, that I'm sort of looking for, and I need to somehow get this on the other side. I'm gonna write something down, and we're gonna think about why this actually works. Okay, so uh, this is implying, okay, what if I take 13 minus t sub 60? If I take 13 minus t sub 60, that gives me this length, but on this side. That's not what I want though, I want one minus that. That will give me what I want. So what I want here is one minus the probability uh, that t is less than 13 minus t sub 60. And that's equal to 0 0.6. Again, I mean, what am I actually doing here to convince you? Let me draw just another little picture. Okay, if I take, if I take just 13 minus t sub 60, okay, that distribution function like all messed up, okay? But here is 6.5. I'm absolutely going to shoot that dog. I'm not literally going to shoot the dog. It's just stop barking. <laughs> All right, whatever. So if I take 13 minus t sub 60, where is that going to be? 13 minus t sub 60. That's going to be this right here. Here's the point. So this is 0. Here is... Uh, 13 minus t sub 60. What I want to do is I don't want that area though. Now the point is is that this area, maybe I'll make it blue actually, this area right here is the same as this area. So I don't want that area, I want the other side. Because this green is what I'm looking for. This green is the same as this area. That's what I want. I want the green. So 
ignoring the one minus, I have this represents the blue. But now when I do the now when I take the one minus of the blue, that gives me the green. So this gives me exactly what I want. So now we're pretty much there. Okay, so this tells me uh, that I have the probability that t less than or equal to 13 minus t sub 60 is equal to 0 0.4. So subtract 0 0.6 from both sides, add this probability to the right-hand side. This is what we get. And by the way, why am I doing this way? Because I can compute this. I can compute this left-hand side. Because I know something about the right-hand side of the distribution. It's proportional to that rational expression. So that tells me everything I need, which means I have 0 to... 13 minus t sub 60 uh, of k divided by uh, 1 plus t dt is equal to 0 0.4. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's finish the computation. Okay, keep in mind what k is. So, again, we need to do ln. So, this tells me now uh, that k times ln of 1 plus t from 0 to 13 minus t sub 60 is equal to 0 0.4. Looking good, looking good. Uh, you can get rid of this because I don't have room. But keep that in mind. This tells me that. Uh, just use the fundamental theorem calculus right here, plug in the endpoints, right? This looks like I have k ln of, when I plug this in here, it looks like I get 14 minus t sub 60. When I plug in 0, I get ln of 1, which is 0, equals 0 0.4. Okay, we need to get uh, t by itself, t sub 60 by itself. This tells me that 14 uh, minus t sub 60 is equal to, if I divide by k, then take e to both sides. That's what I'm doing here. Uh, this is going to be e to the 0 0.4 divided by k, which means, one more step, t sub 60, I'm going to add t sub 60 and subtract the exponential, it is 14 minus e to the 0 0.4 divided by k. k, remember, was 1 over twice the natural log of a half. I think that's what it was. I had erased it, but this should give you approximately 8.99. This would be days. So conclusion is that approximately nine days elapsed before this student um, decided to register. So kind of a slacker. We've all been there. Comment, like the video, share it, subscribe. Thank you.